Welcome back design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up an animation for your spaceships like this. We'll have the spaceship fly past a camera, we'll have the camera follow the spaceship a little bit, and then we will have the ship fly around a planet. So let's get started. So let's take a look at this scene for a second. Right now I have looking through the camera view here, and you can see I've created a camera. So I'm going to switch to the perspective view so I can zoom out and show you what's going on here. So I have the ship, and the ship is following this path that I've created that goes around the planet. And the camera here, when you look, you can see that it's following the ship a little bit. I also have two lights in here. This one is meant to illuminate the ship, and this one is meant to illuminate the planet. And the combination of the two of them together give this really interesting um, shadow on the planet that I didn't plan for. It looks like that looks like this. So we're going to try to do that as well. Now this path here is just like all the other splines that we have created. It is a line. It has vertices. Some of them are curves, like this one, and this one, and some of them are not. And you don't really need much to create a nice smooth path. So here I have my ship without the path. This is just the file that I had created earlier and set up for render in the earlier video. And what I did was I opened up Save As and I saved a copy and I added underscore animated to it. So that way I have my clean copy always that I can go back to. So I think the first thing we're going to need is a planet. So let's zoom out in our top view and go to the Create tab and create a sphere over here somewhere. It's going to represent our planet. And it should be pretty big. And then let's create a path from the ship to the planet. I think I'm going to move my planet out here a little further. And I'm going to go to Shapes, get a line, and then I'm going to create a path. I'm going to put a point here and a point here and a point here and a point here. Now if you wanted the ship to circle around the planet and come back and then go off in another direction, you could do that too. So once you get your line created, go to the Modify tab and open up the line item here and, and select Vertex. But I wanted to show you first, if you don't want parts of your path, like I don't want my ship to go back around like this. Uh, actually, you know, I think I'm going to leave it like that. But if you find you don't want part of your line, all you need to do is go to Segment Mode, select the segment, and you can just simply delete it by pushing Delete on your keyboard. But I'm going to go to Vertex Mode, and in the top view, I'm going to try to smooth this path out by selecting each point and converting it to a Bezier curve. and adjusting the curve as needed. Notice I have both axes locked in here. That means I can just grab that handle and move it. So now we have this path, but it's flat. So what I want to do is give it some curvature up and down. So I want to go to my left view so I can see the whole path go into the planet. And I'm going to select this vertex here, and I'm going to move that one up. And then I'm going to select these, all these on the planet here. I'm going to move them down a little bit. Then I'm going to select this one and move it up. And you could also select individual ones like this if you wanted to. And you can also adjust if you lock in the axes. You can adjust the curve this way as well to smooth it out. So now I have this path. And I think the next thing we need is a camera. So let's go to the Create tab. Select Camera. We're going to create a physical camera. And in your top viewport, click and drag so that your physical camera is looking 
sort of in the direction of the planet and the path like this. And then you can right click to stop creation mode and come over to your perspective view and switch to the camera view. So this is what it looks like. Now your camera should have a target on it and this is useful for helping to follow, helping the camera to follow whatever you're looking at and also to help aim the camera. And it's listed here in your scene outliner. So now let's animate the ship. Right now you have 100 uh, frames in your timeline. Let's uh, right click on the play button so that we can add more frames. Let's add it like uh, I don't know, 300 frames just to give us more to work with and click OK. And then we're going to apply something called a path constraint to the ship. So select the ship. It doesn't matter what viewport you select it in. And we're going to go up to the main menu. We're going to select animation constraints path constraint and click that and then select the path and your ship should snap to the beginning of the path like so and now what that does is that makes your ship follow the path like so as you scrub the timeline and notice it puts the first keyframe at zero and the last one at the end that's why I wanted it to be 300 because I didn't want it to be too fast. Now your ship may be facing in the wrong direction. And if you select the ship and you come over here to the motion tab, this is a new tab for us in the command panel, you will see your constraint. And here's your constraint. And here are some settings for it right here. So the first thing is we want it to follow the path. And notice what happens, my ship turns sideways. Then we need to say which axis we want forward. And if it faces backwards, you can click flip. And then we want to make sure that um, bank is checked. That will make the ship bank as it turns. So we need to um, enter a bank amount. And then we can check that when it when it turns you see you can see it bank maybe we make it bank a little more than that now when we switch to the physical camera and we play this that's what it looks like now all we need to do now is animate the camera and put a planet texture on the planet and put the lights in the scene. And we will do that in the next video. And I'll see you then.